Hey guys, good morning. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, you guys really like the eating Arabic cuisine for a day. Also, everyone told me I pronounced cuisine wrong, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Cuisine, cuisine, cu cuisine, Q, not Q, <laughs> C U I, cuisine, cuisine. I, I don't even know, whatever, cuisine. I don't care, whatever. So, you guys really liked the video where I just ate Arabic food for a whole day. And that video was pretty like easy for me because <laughs> I am Arab. However, now I am venturing outside of my comfort zone a little bit, not too far. We're dipping our little toe into another culture. <sighs> and because we are dipping into another culture, uh, I have a few disclaimers and a few thank yous. Let's, let's get that out of the way. Number one, I will try my best to eat Mexican food as authentic as possible. Will it be authentic? No. For a few reasons. Number one, I'm not Mexican, so I'm probably gonna like mess something up and and like bother people so terribly without even knowing it. So this is a heads up, you know, guard your senses if you're Mexican and I really mess this up. This is my sincere apology. Number two, I couldn't get some more authentic ingredients because uh, quarantine, you know, a lot of the supermarkets are either out of stuff or I just didn't want to go to a lot of supermarkets because, you know, the more places you go, the more things you touch, the more of a possibility you catch the bug, you know? So this is a non-Mexican trying to eat Mexican food while only going to the single supermarket near her house so she doesn't get coronavirus. But that being said, I am trying my best here, okay? And I really hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys get entertained. The reason why I started this series is kind of to show that you can eat vegan no matter what cuisine, cu whatever, whatever your culture is, um, you can probably veganize it. So this is me trying to veganize different non-vegan cultures' foods. Before we get started, I would like to say thank you to a few people on my Instagram who are Mexican, at least I'm pretty sure they're Mexican, and who gave me some pointers on what to eat today. Shout out to Soy Candice, Vivid V, Weirdorosa, A, and Jorge Fruit. So thank you guys for giving me advice on what to eat today. That being said, I'm hungry. We're about to make breakfast, so let's do that. I started off with this soy rizo from El Burrito two big potatoes, a green pepper, just because I don't like red or yellow, half of an onion, and a little bit of jalapeno. I also wanted to make a tofu scramble, so I got this tofu and these mushrooms that were going bad, so I wanted to use them up. Let's go. I started off by preparing the potatoes. First, I peeled them. I sliced them lengthwise, like half an inch or a quarter of an inch and then I made these little fry shapes and then chopped those to dice them up into tiny little pieces. Next up I diced half of the pepper into also small little pieces. I did the same to the jalapeno except even tinier and to the onion. I threw half of the soy rizo in a pan and toasted it up a little bit and then I took it off, I added a little bit of avocado oil and then added my jalapeno, green pepper and onions and I cooked them down until they looked like this. Afterwards I added my potatoes and I stirred it around and covered them for a while to make them cook faster, then I took the lid off and then I cooked it for a few more minutes before adding the soy rizo back in. I also added a little bit of salt, but once it's all heated up and thoroughly mixed, it's done. And here's my breakfast. We have potatoes and chorizo, tofu scramble with some mushrooms and some tomatoes. Let's do a taste test. Okay, so obviously I've had tofu scramble before, but I've never had soy rizo before and I've never had um, chorizo with potatoes. Arabic food has something similar, it's just like ground meat and potatoes. I mean, it's basically the same thing except for the chorizo is just like ground beef and we put like cumin in it and like some other spices. This just had salt on it, so I'm guessing most of the flavor comes from the chorizo. I didn't really follow a recipe. I just saw some people make it and I was like, oh, this looks simple. So that is how that looks like. Let's just do a little close up real quick. It looks good. It is good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now I'm eating it with the tofu. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. This is delicious. I made enough to eat this potato stuff for like three days. 
And I'm glad I did because this is going to be my breakfast for the next three days, even after this video. And I only used half of the soy riso for this, and I put the other half in the freezer for another time. I could have put more jalapeno. I didn't put a lot because I assumed the soy riso would be spicy, but it's not really spicy. Breakfast a success, at least for someone who's never had this before. I like it. If at any point I make a mistake, just correct me kindly in the comments. I'm trying my best. Boom. So I'm going to finish this, start my day, and I will catch you when it's lunchtime. Guys, I just have to pop in here to say that it's been like 15, 20 minutes since I ate, and that was so filling. It was so filling. Maybe because it was like, you know, protein in the eggs, eggs, and then protein in the potatoes. Whew. I like, that plate was small. I don't know if it showed that that plate was small. It was a small plate. I am stuffed, satisfied, delighted. And for dessert, I'm eating a vitamin gummy. It has B12 and D3 in it. My friends, I just went on a bike ride. It was amazing, but I am hungry. So here's the plan. Okay, I, I'm probably gonna ruffle a few feathers because I don't have corn tacos as I initially intended to eat this dish. Instead, I'm gonna be putting all this food into a spinach Americanized tortilla because that's the best that I have. But we will put inside some pico de gallo, some yellow rice that I made, some barbacoa, meat, meat, it's from Seitan, and what else, what else, what else? Oh, some black beans. So let's go ahead and make lunch. Um, so this company sent me all these really awesome vegan Mexican uh, inspired Seitan meats and I did a whole review on them. It's a company called Asante, Asante, I don't even know how to pronounce that. And the meat was like really good. So I was like, why not incorporate it into this video? It seems like a waste. So let's grab one of them. The flavor I liked the most was the barbacoa, so that's the one I'm going to grab. And I'm actually going to pop this into the microwave to heat it up because I froze it. Because there's no way I could eat all this before it goes bad. To this burrito, we are also adding just some pinto beans that I'm going to flavor with a little bit of, little bit of salt, pepper, cumin. And then uh, here's the rice. I, I lied. It's not yellow rice. It's like just regular rice. And here's something I made specially yesterday for this meal. Some fresh pico de gallo and I made it yesterday because I feel like after it sits for a day all the flavors marinate and it tastes better so oh it smells so good I definitely made too much though but mm. here are all the ingredients I used you would basically just have to dice everything up I started with the tomato I did the whole tomato chopped it up as small as possible wish I could have gotten it smaller but I'm only human uh, I did only a little bit of the jalapeno because I didn't know how spicy it was. I could have done more. Then I added my cilantro, uh, some lime. I realized I forgot the onion, so then I added that too. Added some salt, stirred it all up, and basically that was it. All right, so I heated everything up. I seasoned my beans, and let's assemble our little Tex-Mex joy. We start off with our little blasphemous green tortilla. I'm gonna stop calling it that, or else people are gonna think that's how I actually think it's called. Uh, we're gonna start off with our little tortilla right here. I'm gonna put a few pieces of barbacoa. I don't wanna put too much because I will fail to wrap this thing. My burrito wrapping skills are not the best in the world, so... Gonna put a little bit of bean in there. Not too much rice. Just a little. Again, I still want to be able to wrap this thing. Some of our pico de gallo right there. And I wonder if we have avocado. Let me see. I found half an avocado in the fridge, so we're gonna put that on too. This is not closing. I need a Chipotle burrito person right now to assist me. Have you ever seen how much food they can cram into? Oh, this is not, oh my God, this is not gonna wrap. This is, okay, I'm gonna eat this. Oh shit. Mmm. Oh no, it's ripping. Oh, I should have heated it. I'm such a noob. Whoa! Okay, so this is what happens when an Arab tries to wrap a burrito. 
we we get one with a little window view of the inside. You know like when a Hot Pocket explodes? That's basically what happened right here. But I'll tell you this, aesthetics has no bearing on flavor. So let's do a little taste test, try not to spill on ourselves. I do like this shirt. My little, <laughs> looks so stupid. Stupidly delicious. Oh yeah. Mm. I don't give a shit. It tastes so good. And if you think that's the best part of the meal, look what I have for dessert. My 20th disclaimer of the video. If it's blasphemy to eat, I'm gonna try to say it in Spanish. Arroz con leche. Arroz con leche. Cold. Then I'm sorry, but I made some yesterday. And surprisingly, I looked up a recipe for, you know, arroz con leche. And it's the same rice pudding the Arabs make. So I just made the same rice pudding that I usually make. If you want to see how I did that, I'll insert the clip here. I started out with a small saucepan. I added my water and my washed rice. Then I added a cinnamon stick and I boiled that until the rice absorbed the water. It was about 15 minutes. Afterwards, I added my soy milk, gave it a good stir, added some sugar, gave that a good stir, and cooked it for maybe another 25 minutes until the consistency was like this. All the soy milk wasn't absorbed yet, but it finishes thickening as it cools. So after I let it sit for a while, it became nice and thick. I know that oftentimes people put raisins inside. I do not like raisins like that. I mean, raisins are, raisins and I are okay. Like I'll eat them in a yogurt or something, but get them out of my rice pudding. Uh, so this is it. It's just a flavor with cinnamon and it is crack. Yes, so much yes. So the recipe for this specifically is not mine, um, but I'll leave it down below if you guys wanna check it out. It tastes super good. So this is what I'm eating for lunch, this whack ass open burrito and this nectar from the gods. Hey guys, lighting is wacky cause it's raining. Face is oily because it's nighttime and I put on my nighttime stuff. Energy is low cause it's been a long ass day. <sighs> but for dinner, I want to do something that did not contain any faux meat. So my parents ordered out some Mexican food, so I asked them to get me cactus tacos, which I think cactus is nopales, nopales, I think, yeah. Um, they ordered from a restaurant that I've actually reviewed before. It's from El Horno, which is, someone told me means the oven. So they have a separate vegan menu, and so they got me cactus tacos off the vegan menu, except for when I got it, Cactus tacos turned into cactus taco, singular. So for dinner, I'm eating a singular cactus taco. But don't worry, I'll have enough food to make me full because on the side, I got some guacamole. Because last time I ordered these cactus tacos, they came naked. Like at least this time they have onions and radish on it. Last time it was just some plain ass cactus in a tortilla. So I figured if I ordered avocado guacamole and then I put some of the pico that I made from earlier today then it would be you know more more of a, a fulfilling experience to eat my first time having cactus was only like last month but I do really like it mmm mmm they seasoned it better this time oof but it's just as spicy it doesn't really need anything it doesn't even need the avocado Mm. Also, we have some blue corn chips, which is that authentic? I don't know. And guacamole. In my research, I realized that there's a thin line between Tex-Mex and authentic Mexican, at least as someone looking over from the American side, you know? And I like couldn't find a clear distinction, you know? But if you came here looking for what sort of vegan food you can eat while wanting to eat more Mexican food, did I hope I at least gave you some inspo? I triggered some ideas, I don't know. I hope I at least entertained you guys. This shirt sits on, well, it's not even my shirt, it's my boyfriend's shirt. It sits on me so weird. It's my sleepy shirt, I don't give a shit right now. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you guys had fun. Let me know how I did, please be nice. Also let me know which cuisine, <laughs> that word again, <clears throat> I should do next. I'm thinking Indian because 
although I've eaten quite a bit of vegan Indian food, I also like don't know what do what is breakfast? I think breakfast kind of puzzles me more than anything because how often do people go out for like Mexican food breakfast or Indian food breakfast or Italian food breakfast? I don't know. I just feel like I'm used to eating other cultures food, but only for lunches and dinners and never breakfasts. So yeah, give me suggestions on what culture I should attempt next. And that's it. I'm going to relax for the rest of the day. I'm gonna draw some doodles. My newest quarantine activity is learning how to draw on Procreate and I'm actually having a lot of fun. That is all I have for today. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Alan, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, the Planet Earth, Nicole, Juanita, Emily, Jenny, Marcia, Charlotte, Gemini, Curtis, Stacy, Janine, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Danny, and Vanessa. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.